Yo, 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 yo! What's up? It is Friday morning and I've just realized that I'm on camera and I'm yo, yo, yo in it. If you want to check it out, don't forget my YouTube channel, Motivated Entrepreneurs, and you will see me. I have actually gone red now and I really, really have. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Oh, God's sake. Right, Friday morning. I have been excited. I have been passionate about this episode. As soon as I heard it, I just couldn't wait to share it with you, and I hope I do it justice. It is episode 143. It is Friday morning, and we are rocking and rolling, and I'm dancing, and I can't dance either. Okay, so this episode I got from J.P. Spearing. Uh, Searing, sorry, J.P. Searing. He is an awesome dude, and when I, when I listened to it, I just thought, oh my God, I've got to share it with my audience, and it is just quite incredible. So... I, I'm going to share it with you. First of all, can I just say thank you for all the lovely messages, the rating and reviews. The reviews have gone bonkers recently. The messages, I, I, I honestly appreciate it because you never really know if you're connecting with people when you are doing these podcasts. You're thinking, okay, is it going to be good? Is it not? Do people like it or not? Do they like me? Some people will, some people won't, but it's been amazing. Thank you. It just, it's just put me in a, I don't know. I just, I just know I'm on the right journey. So thank you very much. Okay. So what are we talking about today? Dean's been saying about how excited he is, but come on, you've not told us anything yet, Dean. Get on with it. Okay, so people are chasing gratification, not happiness. What does that mean? People are chasing gratification and they are not chasing happiness. Let me summarize what both means and I've got them written down here. Okay, gratification makes us feel better now but worse long-term. And that is what people are chasing, gratification. So people are chasing gratification. Gratification makes us feel better now, but worse long-term. Happiness, this typically makes us feel uncomfortable short-term, but much better and much happier long-term. So I want you to ask you that question, right? We know gratification doesn't make us happy in the long run, but we all chase gratification because we're all... We're all interested in that quick win, that instant win, that instant feel good factor. But do you know what the problem with instant wins and instant gratification? It's got no longevity. It will not help your life in the long term. And I know I do this. And as soon as he said it, I was like, oh my God, this helps me. This, if it can help me, I know it can help you. So I, I want you to ask the question, the decision you are making right now, whatever it may be, that, that snack after your, after your lunch, after your tea, whatever it may be, that big chocolate bar, is that gratification or is that happiness? Most of the decisions that you make, most of the time will be gratification. You, my friends, are chasing gratification. So are you chasing gratification or happiness? We all want long-term happiness, but unfortunately, we make decisions based on short-term gratification. And that is, that is not a long-term plan for success. So here's, here's some of them. Right, Jim. Short-term pain, but what is it? It's long-term happiness. You might spend 30 minutes in the gym. You might go for that run. And you know what? Today, I didn't feel like going for a run, but I went for a run because I know full well that it's long-term happiness. It's short-term pain, but long-term happiness. I might run for 30 minutes and I might not really enjoy it while I'm doing it. But at the end of a run, what are you? You're happier. You're more fulfilled. You feel like you've done something. That feel-good factor, the endorphins that are releasing your body, it makes you feel better. One more drink. This is me. This is me. One more drink in an evening. What is that? You f you're chasing that instant gratification. That instant, oh, you chilled out. You get the chemical balance in your body differently. But that's absolutely fine. But it's got to be moderation. It's got to be moderation. And you have to know that it's gratification. Sometimes when you're drinking, you're stealing tomorrow's happiness and taking it to, on today. So all you're doing, that one more drink, you're stealing a bit of tomorrow's happiness. It might be a little bit every single drink, but you're still stealing tomorrow's happiness and having it today. And the more and more you steal, the more and more it will impact on tomorrow. So that one more drink, that is gratification. Netflix, we all love Netflix. We, Netflix and chill, you what? We love it, don't we? But what happens? It's gratification. That is not a long-term plan for happiness. Facebook, Insta, Insta man, Insta, Facebook, da, da, da. and if you are looking on Facebook, I don't mean this, I don't, this is educational, this is educational. But what is it you're scrolling, you're scrolling, you're scrolling? It gives you that instant gratification. And, but long term, after you've been scrolling half an hour, what has that half an hour actually done? It's nothing. You know you, get, you know you haven't done anything. You haven't gone towards your goals. That is gratification. So remember, gratification is no long-term plan for happiness. You have to be conscious. You have to be aware about your decisions you are making. 
If you are making decisions solely based on gratification, then you will not have happiness long term. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we can't make decisions for gratification. Of course we can and of course we should. But we should make sure we balance gratification decisions with happiness decisions. And don't just seek gratification. If you do, you will have a lopsided life. You will live for now and tomorrow, the next day. You won't be as happy. You won't be as fulfilled. So please think about your decisions and base a lot of your decisions on happiness. Long-term happiness, short-term discomfort. Not necessarily pain, but short-term discomfort. And it's long-term happiness. Gratification, do you know what? That won't make you happy. It will make you happy in the moment. But so many people don't live in the moment anyway. Their moment's gone. Moments like that, boom, 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 gone. So please base your decision on happiness. Short-term pain for long-term happiness. My friends, I have absolutely loved this episode. Tomorrow, Saturday, we are previewing, wait, no, we're not, we're reviewing Kevin Hart's new book. I think it's called Decision, something like that. <laughs> I'll get the name right tomorrow, I promise you. But please listen, because that book, oh, 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 oh. I don't know what else to say. Oh, 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 oh. That book is brilliant. I absolutely mm, love it. And you guys will love it as well. He He's so... Ah, I, I could start talking about it now anyway. He's real funny. You'll enjoy it. Check it out. Thank you so much for listening. I really, really appreciate you. Don't forget, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, Insta. Insta! I don't know why I say Insta. Any of your channels, it'll be amazing. And like, review the podcast, subscribe, whatever you do. It'll be amazing. Much love to each and every single one of you. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you for all your kind words. You guys rock and I love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.